what should i say i should be the bini that he imagined that the i think the intention was more that it's you see it's very difficult to choose between children if somebody says which is your favorite i cannot go from door to door selling my script i shot a full film with him i'm very chill with him now i think his advice was just be on, honest and be confident i am a hungry hungry actor i don't have that temperament you never uh, launched shahid kapoor i am not a believer in it but the first time is the first time that i have actually not a clue about all this <laughs> it was not my dad who told me to do it or not my mom or not my uncle who did it, that they are exposed to it hello and welcome to india today this is anita brito in conversation with an actor who needs really no introduction that's one and only pankaj kapoor <laughs> anjini is here today to promote their upcoming film bini and family welcome guys Thank hello you. So I would like to begin with you having such a storied career I just want to know what keeps you excited to keep doing such amazing films and you know just going all out with every film that you do Well I think I love my craft I love the job that I do is God's grace that I have been given this job and I enjoy doing it and very few people in this world professionally do what they actually love doing Absolutely. I do that so which is so wonderful that's one the other is that uh i am hungry hungry actor so i like uh, playing different characters i mm. like playing a new person each time and there are millions of us in this world so each time a new role is offered to me or a new story is offered to me i look forward to uh discovering that person that the writer and the director have mm. sort of put in the script and the process of discovering is what gives me pleasure Yeah. Uh, the end result is sometimes not important for me because that's not in my hand for yeah. instance the completion of the film for instance the release of the film box office box office mm-hmm. it's not in my hand absolutely i mean the, with best of efforts film can flop True. with least efforts film can do phenomenal business absolutely. so it's a question of um, just trying to be with your craft as much as you can and enjoy the process of working mm. which is what i kept as my as they say the main month of working yeah. uh, so that it gives me pleasure uh, pleasure in the process of working and if end results are great god's grace yeah. but you have always been like this not worried about the box office not worried about the results to be honest i learned it very early in my career because i realized that that part of things is not in my hand True. that depends on the producer on the distributor on the exhibitor on the marketing team Uh, what are the theaters that they are getting how the film is getting released etc it is not in my hand mm. so what is in my hand the work that i am doing while the camera is on yeah. on the sets so i given my best to that rest whatever god wishes will happen but if i may ask you what has been the most challenging role or character that you have played so far in your career like i was seeing in your filmography every year you have some or the other release anything be it on ott tv it anywhere I want to know what has been the most challenging character that you have played and satisfied you as an actor. Uh, I don't think that one has still come. Really? But uh, yes. <laughs> uh, as I said I am greedy. Uh, but yes, sometimes you derive a little more satisfaction simply because of various reasons. I mean one reason could be appreciation by critics, hmm. one reason could be appreciation by audiences, one reason could be appreciation by colleagues. one reason could be recognition in terms of you know whatever awards right. or uh, etc but having said that it is the process as i said which gives me the maximum amount of satisfaction but with his grace still when i see my work i still see that there's scope that i could have done this better and next time in case i can improve upon it i will wow. and that's the approach that i think um, i'm born with and i've been able to retain that with his grace not my doing at all which is what keeps me going i would say wow that's actually uh, you know something to take away from well. what you have said <laughs> and you know what about you what have you learned while working with him since it's your first film did you go with a mindset ki aise karna hai mujhe ya i will change according to the people that i work with no i i don't think i had like any such mindset i think my whole point was that sanjay sir should be happy and he should get what he wants like he should be able to see bini i should be the bini that he imagined that the i think the intention was more that 
I did have a lot of readings with him before I went on set. So I knew the space that he wanted Binny to be in. I had a rough idea. Of course, when you have your co-stars on set, a lot changes. Yeah. Like when you're working with Sir, Sir Pankaj Sir, a lot changes. The minute he gives you so much, yeah. it brings more out of you, more than probably would have come out. So 100%, that makes a very big difference. Were you intimidated on the first... Uh, day when you were shooting with him because right now I am <laughs> so I'm not working with him I am so I want to know from you I shot a full film with him I'm very chill with him now and you know he he comes across as intimidating but the minute you speak to him three four lines you'll be like Are he's not why am I stressing it's all in even initially I was but I realized it's all in my head he's so very chilled very chilled out very relaxed I remember my first table read also with him. It was just uh, me, Sanjay sir and uh, Pankat sir. And we read two lines and he said, Haan, to hai, now what? What more do you want to do? Have coffee, let's chill. So that, I think, was the easing in process. Pankat sir, when you work with newcomers, do you remember your time when you had entered the industry? Is it easy for them now? Or do you think uh, it is way different from how you had started off? I think things have changed. But... Uh, but a first time is a first time, so you are always there to try and learn from whatever you're going to be doing and whether it, it becomes correct or not correct. Yeah. But I think today's youngster has far more confidence, they have far more flair um, and their exposure is a lot more than we had. Yeah. I mean, they have so many channels that they can watch, they are on social media half of the time, which even till today I haven't heard of or I've heard of but not you're, a part you're of. You're also not part I'm of. Not, I'm not part of. Media. At that time there was nothing of this kind at all. It was a single screen kind of situation yeah. in our times when we started off. So there was a lot more kind of thing that I don't know what is this is going to be. What is it to be uh, to look when you work what will it what will you look like on that screen hmm. which is a huge 35 feet or whatever is the dimension of the screen, how will you appear? Yeah. So the initial years were years of learning from that as to that your whole thing is being magnified Correct. to a large extent for the audiences. But today's youngster because of so many social media and outlets and OTT platforms and uh, television yeah. for last three, four, five decades that they are exposed to it. Hmm. So a lot of conflict. Garpe, there are cameras which people are, with their mobiles, yeah, you are making yeah. pictures and sending things, etc. So they are much more well versed with being in front of the camera hmm. or being shot or being covered, Correct. Uh, which we were not. So from that point of view, there was a sense of insecurity till you saw what you had done. Hmm. Uh, but today's youngster can see it right there. Yeah. Today after a shot, you go and see on the monitor as to what you have done. Yeah. And you can always get back to the director saying, can I have one more? Can we do one more? So, I mean, that's definitely a large difference that has happened. Somewhere they are luckier, some there, somewhere we were luckier. Hmm. Because there was a sense of suspense. Yeah. There was a sense of, did I do it right? You were depending completely on the director yeah. and the cameraman. And once you see what have you done, well, you can crib about it, but you can only make <laughs> changes the next time. True. Yeah. So, I think that also had its own charm. This also has, has its, its own, own charm. charm. But you uh, coming from a family, you know, of actors and directors, so I'm sure you were prepared from the beginning. How was your first moment like when you had to talk to your family and say, Ki boss, mujhe to karna hi hai. I'm going to get into acting, nothing more. Who was the guiding force behind uh, you being an actor today? I don't think there was a single day that I sat them down and said, you know, this is what I want to do. It was understood. Okay. Like it was very understood because I was always very... I, I enjoyed, I enjoyed a lot, right since I was 8 years old when my dadi used to take her acting classes at home, I was the first one standing there saying you make me anything but I am a part of this scene. Mm. So I think they always knew, I think my parents always knew, your parents know first. Yeah. Anything about a child, whether you say it or not, your parents know first. So I don't think it was ever that sit down conversation never happened. Right. And also you are, uh, Pangata, sorry, thank you. Uh, you never uh, launched Shahid Kapoor, he came on his own. Yes. Here she's also, uh, you know, Varun did mention that no one launched him. But today's day, every actor has been launched by someone or the other. What was the reason behind you not launching uh, Shahid then? I'm not a believer in it. Okay. Like I believe that uh, each individual should be able to run their own journey, 
should be able to make their own beginning reason hmm. reason something that my father gave me okay he said why i you can have discussions you can take suggestions uh, we can reach a point of your understanding how you go about it but decision has to be yours you have to take that first step because journey is yours hmm. it's not my journey yeah. so that once you take that step even if you fumble you will learn how to get up and walk again if you able to walk and run you will be able to say i did it it was not my dad who told me to do it or not my mom or not my uncle who did it yeah. or not somebody else responsible for my success you should be responsible for your own success so that you gain that confidence that confidence will take you through life yeah. otherwise you will always all life be looking at somebody to help you out yeah. once it was your father then it could be another producer it could be another production house it could be another whatever these uh, corporate houses no you got to have confidence in yourself that i should do it the way i think i can do it and if you do that then i think you stand on your own feet and you are able to take um, take further strides yes. with confidence well said but also this this bini and family talks about the generation gap that we face now i think that is still better I think ten years or fifteen years down the line, things were different. We the way we uh, behaved with our family, the way we behaved with our parents or grandparents, anyone. How have you coped up, sir? Because you also have kids who are from different generations, and now your grandfather. How have you coped up with that, and how have you been with your grandparents first? See, I think I would say I was extremely lucky to have the kind of parents I had. I mean, my father was a hugely emancipated man. he was a principal of a college a professor in english etc uh, he had vast reading of english literature i mean i as a kid was hearing sherlock holmes and hearing shakespeare when i was 6 7 years of age oh. as stories being told to me so i he had he was very open to everything and uh, frankly he was my best friend so he created that relationship with me and i could tell him anything that i wanted to Uh, my mother was my first teacher as an actor mm. she was the one who sort of put me on to it wow. as to you know she would gather people from neighborhood and make us do small little skits or something at home wow. so these two were the most prominent influences in my life mm. and they always let me do what i wanted to do so i think i just got it from them and i just extended it to my children i said you do what you want to do i am there to back up as and when you need me you turn you will see me standing there but i will not be holding your hand and taking you forward no that you will do yourself now today if any one of them has become successful it's because of their doing it's because of their personality because it is because of their honesty their hard work their talent so they don't have to look back and say oh dad did did, uh, did this for me well they did get the exposure of being in an atmosphere like this yeah. they could see their father being an actor going on sets etc but that's about it i mean that in any in any family we see that there are people who try and send you to good schools to educate to if you want to study further help you out in that but they don't go and study with you yes. similarly as an actor you should be able to do it on your own or in this or in any field for that matter you should be able to do it on your own and i think the generation this generation has the ability to do so or every generation when they are young they have the ability to do so the confidence has to be given and there has to be somebody to say i am right there just go ahead yeah. if required i'll reach wherever you need me yeah. and as a grandfather how, how both the grandkids how, what are they teaching you now what well, they are teaching me all the new from pokemons to <laughs> all the the greatest singers in the world taylor swift and things like that my my granddaughter and my grand son they have they have so much knowledge about all this that i have actually not a clue about all this <laughs> but i listen to them um, as a what you call as a as a grandfather who dotes on them and who wants to know everything that they are doing <laughs> and uh, i want to be a part of their world uh, not only to feel young but to feel a part of them what about you how was your growing up like with your grandparents Honestly my grandparents are very cool very modern very open minded way more than my parents even growing up i think my parents were stricter than my grandparents 
like if i ever had to go to a school trip my mom would say no no means no as to at one point i'd stop asking as to stay go to dadi singh sign it now you will sign it now she said yeah, of course you should go like how can you not go that used to be her reaction you must go and she would like fight with my parents for me all the time so at home when i was not getting my way call dadi it's done <laughs> Yeah, but uh, how was your relationship with Varun as well? You know, he was there to support you. The entire family was there. Yeah, entire family, family was there. Everyone was and there. And more emotional as well. Yeah. On stage. Yeah. So how has he helped you out, and what was his, you know, uh, advice to you when you went, when you started out? I think his advice was just be on honest and be confident. These are two things you have to remember, and you will be fine. There's nothing else you need if you remember these two things. I think that was his go-to advice. always and having him not just him but my entire family there made the whole moment very special for me and i was so much more at ease knowing that everyone is here yeah. so it it's always a special feeling i have final two questions one one thing that you have learned from pankaj sir and you are going to take it forward to the next project whatever you do what is that one thing there are so many but um i think one is how he made me so comfortable on set knowing that i was new and maybe a little nervous he always told me that listen even if i am packed up i am leaving it is my job to give you cues and i'll always be there to do that and he went he literally sat me down to tell me this and said whenever you need it you have to ask me and i will be here so i think that was very nice and he was always there for that he didn't have to do it but he was always there and to always uplift the scene not your it's not about you and your performance it's about the scene i think these are a couple of things that are going to be with me for the rest of my career 100% one film of his that you love a lot honestly i'm so sure, i'm currently in the middle of watching ic81 for i was just i just said it like i'm on episode 4 so i have two more to go so yeah that's it yeah i'm really enjoying it i'm really enjoying i'm because i didn't know about it before i had no idea that something like this happened mm. and personally i love watching true stories like something that's actually happened it's i love i love knowing more pankaj so what about you if you have to uh, you know suggest the youngsters to watch one or two film of yours what would that be anything that i have done i mean it's you see it's very difficult to choose between children if somebody says which is your favorite i mean you love all your yeah. children so um uh, it's for the youngsters to choose because which yana they want to see something uh whether they want to see me as a youngster whether they want to see my last 5 10 years of work depends on what yeah. they want to do they can look at my filmography and cho- choose whatever they want to out of that and i'll be happy them looking at any of my work that they have done rather i'd be grateful to them for even uh taking out time to look at some of my work please you being to yeah magbol yes I, I Magbul for sure, but one that I've not watched, but I want to watch. The one uh, Magbul, I would tell everyone to watch. <laughs> We are thinking of which one, uh, but one that I've not watched and I want to watch is Office Office because my dad has spoken so much about it, and he's like, Anjani, you have to watch it. You will be laughing start to end. So that's something I've not watched, but I will be watching for sure. Please do that. An amazing yeah, show. That is me. for sure. But uh, sir, what about direct? This is my last question. What about direction? I think Mossam was your. last and after that the only film that i sh- i actually directed and wrote uh well i have scripts but i don't have the uh, <laughs> what should i say i cannot go from door to door selling my script i don't have that temperament my temperament is more of an actor i mean i don't mind if somebody comes to me and says do you have a script can i hear something i'm ready to narrate it hmm. but if the person says yes i like what you have written I'm ready to go ahead and direct the film. It's not that I don't like directing; I love directing, uh, but I cannot uh, struggle to be able to make a film. Okay. Mm, so after Mossam, uh, I decided to stay more as an actor, and as and when there is an opportunity, then I will direct. We would be looking forward to that as Thank well, you. sir. Thank But you. But now, for now, we are going to wait for Bini and family. That's yes. happening on twenty twentieth uh, of September. September. So we are yeah. going to wait for that. Thank, Thank you so you. much for Thank having you. this conversation. Thank you. Thank you.